and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Coco's Cucina. Um, I hope you guys are all doing wonderful well and swell this morning. Hope you are blessed and highly favored um, and all of that goodness that comes along with being blessed and highly favored. So this morning, I just want to say thank you guys again. If you are um, a subscriber, I truly do appreciate you guys. I promise you I do. And if you are just scrolling through what happened up on my um, video, I only ask if it's in your spirit, baby, that you subscribe to my channel. If it's not, I thank you for at least stopping by and watching it. Okay, so what I want to do for you guys today is a winter drink. It could be uh, just a nice warm winter drink or you can add your favorite uh, whiskey or bourbon or something like that and just kind of kick it up a notch. Um, and it's called Wassel. Now, uh, my daughter and myself, um, you know, when she was younger coming up, we did wassail like through the winter. We did wassail all year, all year round, to be honestly truthful. We did it all year round. I just love the taste of it um, because I'm a cinnamon, I'm a clove, you know, I'm a nutmeg. I'm one of those type of people. I like those spices. So, but we did it, and guys, we never got sick. Ever, ever, ever got sick. Um, it's just a lot of vitamin C. It's heated up. You can drink it hot, or you can drink it cold. I like it both ways. It really doesn't matter. But that's what we're doing today. And like I said, if you want to add your favorite alcohol and kind of sort of like make it a toddy, you can do that as well. So... This is my uh, pitcher. So this holds uh, 10 cups of liquid. So for my 10 cups of liquid, I have three juices. So we're going to do like three cups each and then just, you know, wrench around on the other. Okay. So I'm going to start out with my pineapple juice. I'm going to measure up uh, just three cups right there. And then I'm going to do the same for my apple juice. Now, if you have um, cider, that's fine. You know, if you have cider, that's fine. And then I had a little bit of this here Fuji pear. I wanted to use that. So I'm going to probably be making a little bit more than what I bargained for. But that's okay. Oops. Okay, so then I'm going to do uh, three cups of OJ. So it is going to take me over that container. And that's okay, because I have some other containers that I can, um, I can use, right? So those are your juices. Um, if you have frozen juice, you can use the frozen juice as well. You just have to uh, govern yourself accordingly according to the directions on the frozen juice, okay? Um, if you don't like any of these juices, you don't have to use them. You can just, you know, do whatever makes you happy. So to that, to this pot, uh, to this pot, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, cloves. 
and my cinnamon sticks. And that right there takes it to a whole nother level. I'm gonna let mine simmer on probably about five. I'm gonna put like a good handful of cloves because I like that taste. So you can see that. I might add some more, maybe about that much. Okay. And to that also, I'm going to add probably about These are the cinnamon sticks. So that's like five. You add more or less according to what you like. Now at this time, uh, people, some people like to add a little soup up. And if you want suka with your sugar, you know, you can add me some sugar. I don't know if I'm going to need any suka right now. Um, I'm going to give it a little stir just to kind of help it get started and get everything incorporated. All right, so I'll be back once this comes to a little boil. I'll be back and uh, kind of let you see, and then I'm gonna do another taste because like right now it's just tasting like all of the juices, which is still good. But um, I need my clove and cinnamon taste. So give me a minute guys and uh, we'll come back and I'll even sit down and have a glass with you, okay? Family, I sure wish you guys could smell this. I brought it to a boil, uh, a nice little uh, boil, and then I went ahead and cut it off. Kept it on the on the uh, burner though, because these uh, burners they stay hot, and I put the lid on it and just let it simmer for 30 minutes. So all together, I think the total time has been like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna dip me a cup of it. <clears throat> And this is Wassel.
yes, yes, and yes. That's the wasal. All right, family. Let's just check this wassail out. One so early, you know I would spike it. But I really got a, a lot to do. So I can't spike it. But we can taste it together. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. When I put my elbows on the table, I need support. Oh, that is so good. I wish you guys could taste it. Honestly. So delicious. Let's see here. So, um, guys, Thank you guys so much for um, watching this video this morning on my uh, fossil. Again, this drink is high in vitamin C, guys. High in vitamin C. It's very good. And um, you can spike it too. See those cinnamon sticks on the bottom, cloves. And then I sliced up me an orange. You can slice up an apple. You can slice up pineapple. Whatever juice you used in here, you can use it to garnish it. And when I tell you this does something to the insides. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Again, if you don't like cloves, you don't have to use them. But I absolutely positively love cloves. And if it's not sweet enough for you, you can also use a natural honey for that. Some people use suka. Um, you know, I mean, that's going to be up to you guys. I didn't have to add anything. Not one thing. So anyway, today, I've already got up, stripped my bed. I did my um, linens. Um, about to redo and remake my bed. Um, cleaned up my kitchen. It's just editing the thing that I dread the most. That's what I have to do. So uh, once my bed and everything is made up, guys, that's what I'm going to focus on all day today. It's editing. My gosh, why it gotta be so difficult? I don't know. But that, and then I got one more video I'm gonna do today. 
and hopefully that should do me until sometime next week. I can um, just focus on editing. That's how much of my time it takes, honestly. Because I'm not perfect. And, um, you know, I wouldn't know what it would be like to be able to just do a video without having to edit it. It's every now and again, and they're very short videos of that. So, yeah. Other than that, guys, we're coming upon the end of another year. The end of 2020. The end of perfect vision, for real. I mean, if I have to look back and say that I honestly said this year was going to be a year of perfect uh, vision. I didn't know the vision was going to come to pass the way that it has come to pass. And that's the thing about life. We don't know. We don't know. You know, so, man, it's been different. 2020 has been totally different. Um, it's really been different. That's what I can say, you know. But um, I'm going to try to prepare myself to go into 2021, you know, definitely on a positive note. And... Uh, And just prayer, prayerfully, we do not have to repeat 2020 and 2021. That is my prayer going into 2021, guys. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys have planned for yourselves in 2021. What are your, what are your goals? What did 2020 change for you? So, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging with me and, and, and uh, trying this wassail out. You'll love it. And you might use something different. If you do, let me know in the comment section below what you use in your wassail. Mm. So, in the meantime, and in between time, Guys, please remain sweet and kind, okay? And thank you so much uh, for your support. And thank you so much for just hanging in here with me. I appreciate you very, 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 very much. Until the next time, guys, remain sweet and kind, okay? And bye for now.